Hey guys, my name's Ross. Uh, I work over at First Light, and this evening we are going to be cooking up some delicious Montana pronghorn backstrap. You can follow this recipe for any type of backstrap, elk, mule deer, whitetail, moose, doesn't matter. They're all gonna be delicious. You're gonna want to pat it down a little bit and uh, get some of that off of there. You'll notice this still has that silver viscous skin on here. We're gonna go ahead and trim that off. Start in the middle instead of shaving it from the side. Get that blade in there and you can kind of keep tension up against it. You lose as little meat as possible. Seasoning is really up to you. You can add some fancy spices. You can add some of that wild game seasoning, Old Bay, whatever you like to do. I'm gonna put some salt and pepper on it. We're gonna let it rest for an hour at room temperature or until it reaches room temperature. What I typically do is do both sides. So again, I'm gonna go heavy. It's been about 45 minutes. Uh, you know that because I switched from missiles to guns, slowing her down a little bit. So our grill right now is at about 400 degrees, so it's nice and hot. We're gonna go ahead and throw her on the grill. Probably gonna wanna spend about a total of four minutes on the grill on this thing. Spend about two thirds on the first side, and then you flip it and cook the other side in, and you're trapping that moisture. So on this time, we're gonna leave it here for maybe only about two minutes. One thing to keep in mind that's really, really important is that when you take this piece of meat off, you take it off the griddle, it's gonna continue cooking for several minutes. So the temperature is gonna keep going, it's gonna keep cooking itself, so you wanna take it off probably earlier than you might think and let it keep cooking and you let it rest. Looking good overall, I think it looks delicious. I like the firmness and voila. It can be oftentimes really tempting to cut it open at this stage to see how it's looking. What you're doing then is obviously letting the moisture out as it continues to cook. Resist. As you can see here, there's a little bit of blood coming out. I like that. To me, that means this thing's gonna be right about ready when we cut it up. Roll it over, you can see there's some moisture coming out, but we didn't lose too much. And I can tell you just by feel, that there's still quite a bit of moisture in there. And that's most important, again, for keeping the flavor. And that, is beautiful. Notice when I squeeze it, there's still some blood in there. We got some pink in here. Honestly, what I'd like to see is maybe a little bit more pink. This is probably on the more done side of things, but it's still right in that wheelhouse. But what's most important, a lot of moisture in there. And that's what the difference is between well-cooked game meat and overcooked game meat is the amount of moisture in there. That's how you sear wild game backstrap. Let's go enjoy it. Mm -hmm.